Um, I haven't heard of any companies that purchased a printer that are now profitable with that printer. They're getting like a positive ROI on the printer. So that's uh, maybe some exist, but I haven't come across them. And generally, when people make an investment in hundreds of thousands of dollars, they're expecting you know, some kind of return unless they have a big enough marketing budget and understand that it's going to get them publicity or something like that. Um, so for the companies, even companies that are selling printers now and maybe generating profit, it, is it sustainable? Like it, it kind of needs to get that ROI point where people are making money from purchasing and then it explodes and they need to, then their biggest concern is making as many printers as they can, right? Right, correct. That's that's a very big issue right now is, is uh, for companies who are uh, buying the printers as a service uh, provider where they want to build projects and there aren't enough projects right now as far as I see it to justify the, the purchase of the machine and you're right I think I don't I, I don't know the numbers but I can guess that no one's really making any profit uh, so you buy like you said I think the printers range from two hundred thousand dollars robotic base to over a million for a gantry system. So if you if you look at that and then again, like I said, you look at it from a production perspective, manufacturing perspective, uh, then you should be able to be having at least X number of days per year where this printer is in the field. And if it's not, then you're gonna increase your uh, daily rate of the of the printer of the usage. And then again, it adds to the cost of the project, and the client will refuse, and you're back to square one. I don't think it's impossible, though, that a company could get an ROI at this stage, like especially with some of the like, garden features or some like things like benches. Benches can be thousands of dollars. Sculptures like the Burj Al Arab building. Uh, I know a lot of people from the half a million people that saw it on TikTok were like, "How much does that cost? We want to buy it, maybe." But right. Um, if you were to get enough clients for projects like that, I mean, I think that, I mean, they were able to print three objects a day. They could probably, in optimized situations, print like six or even more if they were using both sides of the printer. Um, maybe even moving stuff out, they could do more than that. But there's, it seems like there's potential for that ROI, but it's uh, elusive. You can't just print whatever you want and expect to make a profit. It's like you need to find the, profitable sectors or something. I agree. I think uh, from a business owner perspective now I'm talking, uh, uh, the large expensive printers that are primarily for uh, constructing uh, buildings and, mm. and houses, uh, right now the ROI is very difficult to achieve. And